I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Please, for the love of God, can we all move on from this three year back and forth? The story of the missing 400K continues. With the New Year's being tomorrow, let's tackle some of our resolutions. Let's hit the gym and lose those pounds. Let's spend more time with friends and touch some grass. Now it's the last day of 2023. Let's once and for all bury this hatchet between both sides because it seems like no one wants to go to court or take legal actions. This gotta be the longest breakup ever. It's been almost three years since Rory and Maul called out Joe Budden for the 400k accounting mistake that they found. After they brought up this issue to Joe, it wasn't given to them as easily as they thought Joe should have given it to them, which then led to the stealing accusations and Joe feeling some type of way that people he considered friends would ever accuse him of stealing from them. At this point, I've lost track of how many shots has been exchanged between both sides since their breakup. Recently, this issue came up again, and last night, Joe Budden was on JBTV Spaces. Make sure you guys go follow them if you haven't. Joe was asked about the accounting issues once again. He ends up breaking down the numbers of how everything went. Here's what he said. Yeah, I just want to say... I can't believe anybody ever really believed the stealing thing. I know that I was a really horrible guy perception wise, maybe a few years ago, but when you build in a business, like you can't, you can't build a business that way. Like, and that, that was the whole point. You got to have real accounting. You got to have real <clears throat> lawyers. You got to have real insurance. Like all that shit is real shit. You can't just steal shit. Unless you add them and don't have contracts with nobody. It's even way. deeper than that, right? Because if you let me tell it, I still love that contract. I think that that was a total mistake trying to get out of that. That was a sweet, sweet, sweet contract. But everybody is not built to get paid behind expenses. Like, and that's that's what you got to identify yourself. Do you want to, how do you want to get paid? Like, I want to be the boss. I want to get paid after everything is paid but that was the big problem there we was just talking about like an audit if i think the label stole some shit i'm gonna audit to like get some real get to the bottom of this well this is this is what my problem was right and i said to i said this to both of them very early in the deal i said my problem is y'all are accusing me of stealing but y'all are too lazy to pay for the audit so you're asking me to do a self-audit which i'm only going to do because i'm y'all man but under no circumstance would I ever do that. Like, if you really feel like something is being taken from you, then put your fucking nuts on the table and pay for an audit. You lazy sacks of shit. This has been like, there's absolutely nothing to know. Just like I told them niggas at the time. All you gotta do is look up. Well, for Spotify, we got 1.8. The tax hit on that is 400 grand. The lawyer takes their percentage. The person who arranged the deal takes their percentage. The agency takes a percentage and then insurance comes out and then you pay your staff and then you bust down the rest. They just didn't want to be it's, at the back end of that. They just didn't want to sit behind. When Erickson need a raise, we got to wait. He got to get paid. Fuck are we talking about? When the engineer needs to needs a raise, when, when money goes out, you dog, I know it hurts, but you got to sit behind it. So are you saying that in terms of the pecking order of, of paying folks, are you saying the staff comes before the I'm talent? I'm saying, well, I'm saying in a deal where you request, where you request to be paid the way that I'm paid because you want to make sure that I'm not stealing. See, that was their thing before we ever went into the Spotify thing, which was, nah, we want to get paid as you get paid. All right, say no more. I'm Whoa. getting paid behind expenses. I think that that was a good decision if if you have faith in what you're doing if you only looking for a quick two to three year run then that's a horrible decision but if you want to grow as the business grows then yeah pay me on the back 
Now, whether numbers were manipulated or some people just did not understand the contract they signed, I think we can all agree that this comes down to bad communication from both sides. According to Joe, like you guys just heard, Rory Moore wanted to get paid exactly how Joe was being paid. Maybe that payment structure breakdown was not fully explained to them, especially the fact that you end up being the last to be paid out after everybody else has been taken care of. Unfortunately, because this issue would never be taken to court, nobody is ever truly going to know who's right and who's wrong. But I think I speak for both sides when I say that it's time to finally let this go. Both parties and podcasts seem to be doing well. Nobody looks like they're hurting for that 400k. We don't gotta be friends. We don't gotta do a podcast reunion. I know some of you guys were holding out hope that that may happen. At this point, most fans are tired of it and they just want good content. Tell me what you guys think about this, man. Are you guys sick of hearing about the 400k counting issue? Post comments below. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you guys later.